Accessible city work at Durham Street and Cambridge Terrace provides a great opportunity to introduce a slow speed environment beside Te Papa o Takaro, Avon River Precinct, and to help motorists access parking for the retail precinct. Cyclists and pedestrians can look forward to a four metre wide shared path on the east side and a three metre shared path on the west side. As shown here, that won't mean big changes for motorists who will continue to use two southbound traffic lanes. From Gloucester to Worcester streets, there'll also be on-street parking on the west side. And between Worcester and Cashel streets, there'll also be more trees on the street. See how well traffic heading south is moving. One of the reasons is because of the design of the new one-way eastbound route further south on Chewham. More detail on that soon. At Litchfield Street, there's something new. Litchfield used to be one-way eastbound. Take a look. The vehicles are moving east and west. Litchfield becomes two-way, the main access route for the retail precinct and nearby parking. Providing access to the retail precinct and parking means that for a small section of Durham Street South, traffic will be two-way. Traffic signalling stops traffic coming south and then there's a green light for traffic heading into and away from the retail precinct, as well as a left-hand turn for vehicles turning west into the slow speed shared zone in Oxford Terrace. If this wasn't done, traffic from the west trying to get to the retail precinct from Churn Street would have to go all the way to Colombo Street and then double back along Litchfield. This little section of two-way on Durham Street is a great solution. Here you can see how well southbound traffic on Durham Street flows with eastbound traffic on Churn Street and westbound traffic on St Asaph Street. Remember, this traffic modelling simulation shows peak hour traffic, but good planning and design means that everyone keeps moving along well, even when the whole central city travel network is busy. Overall, this new network will help make the central city much more welcoming for everyone.